Hey, hey, it's Yvonne making a pit stop. Oh, some acrylic. $2.99. Yeah, I'm good with that. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hang on, you guys. Someone, I see someone I know is sitting kitty. Hang on. Okay, so that was Liz sitting kitty. And she's kind of like me, just trying to get a few things done. Not really in the mood to be on camera. So, But she says hi, you guys. She says hi and she loves you guys. And uh, she knows I'm feeling a little under the weather, but doing the best I can. She's gonna, she's offered so many times to help me get my booth together, and I think I'm gonna take her up on it, you guys. Oh, that's pretty, that white on white. Let's see. Could possibly be homemade pottery, right? Wow, that's interesting. You know what? How much is that? $3.99. I kind of want that for some, I think that'll make something interesting for the assemblages that I'm kind of gathering up cute little items for. So I'm going to put that in the cart. I told Liz, go ahead of me now because I really don't need anything. I'm being super picky. So you go ahead and look. <laughs> Mahogany. Oh, if this, I'm going to get this for the booth if this isn't, definitely, I can't read what that says, but I think I remember that name. This has a little bit of resale value, and if not, I don't care, it's $1.99, and I like to have good representation of different human skin tones in the world. Oh my gosh, when can it not be a thing? My dad used to donate to them and get all kinds of free stuff. A little lusterware. That's cute. Oh, that's interesting. How much was it again? $4.99. Not bad. They're feeling a little bit more benevolent at this location today. Made in England. I think some of their stuff has some resale value. I need to look it up because some of it's just so-so. And some of the designs are eh, a little bit better. Let me just double check only because it has a parrot on it. Let's see this piece of glass down here. $1.99. Wow. Some unusual pricing. Seriously, for this thrift store. Very unusual. This might be some more of that Barbarista. Now that I like, Crazy Horse. Made in England, 1994. Now Crazy Horse, I do like that. And there's another one. We are going to have to look these up though to see if they're, what the resale value is. But I might keep the Crazy Horse one for myself. Someone asked about these. It might have been Amy. She said, is that Burmese class? And I was like, I don't know, it just kind of looked like dirty, more like smoke, like a film of smoke or something. How much are they? Amy, they're $3.99 a piece, four of them. Still here. Little music box, $1.99, what is up? This place just surprises the heck out of me. Dang, I'm gonna get that for make assemblages too. I like that idea. I like it. Let's see what this is. That's interesting. I think I looked at that last time, didn't I? I did. Let's see. Made in Peru. That makes sense. $1.99. That's kind of cool temporary mirror but if it's cheap enough $5.99 makes good little display pieces and they seem to be in a benevolent mood this week okay this is new $7.99 but I like the little doodads on it little yoga whatever they're doing 
$7.99. Oh, I'm going to leave that up high. Someone's going to like that. That's going to make somebody's day. This won't be a real long video, you guys. I really should probably <laughs> kind of hang out at the house a few more days. Someone just dropped a whole row of something over there. Some more of the little buttons. Aww. Okay, but now wait a minute. Those bunnies. <laughs> Handmade buttons. Bunnies. Oh, that's so cute. But as someone who does sew, let me tell you, that's not as simple as you think it would be. Sewing on a button, yes. Okay, someone upcycled that. But because of the shape of those, the buttonhole has to be right too. And yes, you can cut your buttonhole, but then it's all going to unravel. So you kind of want to do it professionally. Uh-oh. <laughs> Little measuring spoons, bees. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Local people, those are cute. I'm not gonna do it though. Looking for more big ticket items today, you guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just popping in quick. Again, this is the one, you know, by Walmart. Unfortunately, I need to go to Walmart real quick. Dollar forty-nine. Okay, I'm in awe. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Sometimes you come in here and it's like, this is $8.99. But now, today, they just go through moods. This is, okay. This is the Venetian thing. See, it's like a, one of those Venice boats. I don't know if you guys can tell. There, does that help? Look past the little bow. See, there's the guy pushing the boat with the stick. You know, like when you go to Venice where the street is made out of water. I like that. I don't need a bunch of lower end items right at the moment, except for maybe this brand new thing here, but I love it because it's got a deer on it. $1.99. Did somebody add that aftermarket? That's a possibility. Okay. I have to get that for me though. A couple cute items. There's some lamp work, glass, snowman, uh, like wine stopper. $1.79 I believe. And these are so cute. These little crocheted and beaded boho coasters. But they're $1.49 a piece. So we're just admiring them. And if anybody local is watching, they are here. This is not, like, I couldn't sell those for much more. So I'm not going to invest the money. Wait a minute, I see some, that's funny. Oh, it's one of those, it's a piece to like a snow cone maker set. Shaved ice. <laughs> Liz found a cute little Frank Oma mug so far that she's buying. $1.99. Possibly Italian or something from William Sonoma or whatever. It's gonna have to be something a little more high value today, you guys. I'm just looking. Darn, that's cute too. That looks a little older. It's got the cork instead of the silicone. And there's a wolf. This one is pretty. Blue cider glass with some flowers in it going through clothes as well just my favorite like athleisure wear personally and to resell because uh, I mentioned before it fits a variety like it's stretchy right so there's some wiggle room as far as fit and comfort and the better names people know exactly what size they wear in that brand this isn't bad Sundance Sundance catalog and website that's kind of cute college preppy looking but again, that's a not a bad name. I'll buy Sundance tops, dresses as well. 
curly, but it's um, personalized. <laughs> a cute little fun fast fashion the young girls will enjoy. Finding at the thrift, Tahori, that's a good name. Definitely would buy their dresses. This has problems. It's been bleached. Somebody spilled bleach on the bottom, you guys. Let's see. I'm kind of looking for myself, but if I see something good enough for resale that I'm in the mood, I'll do it. I did pull out something I'll show you. Something kind of contemporary, but not so youthful that I can't wear it at my age. I'll show you in a minute. Let me finish this rack, okay? Hang on, I'll come over to the mirror and show you. So, I thought these might be Taylor Swift line of Keds, but they're Keds nonetheless and brand new. My size, $7.99, I will pay that for some very cool Keds. Kind of, some kind of fabric with, it's kind of slightly textured, silver metallic. And I got myself a fun PacSun from the PacSun store at the mall. This is a Coke camp shirt. I got that when I was passing through the men's department. Kind of looking at t-shirts. Hello. Come off of there, please. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to get this for fun. Just because it's really, really affordable. That, they do like skater, surf. That brand right there. So this is... It looks like it's authorized by Coca-Cola 2018. I just think that would be fun when I want to do a little retro outfit. And then this jacket. This crop jacket. Probably Fashion Nova. And I'd be telling on myself. Oh, divided. Okay. A little, a little bit better quality than like Shein or Fashion Nova for sure. Um, not get too excited, but a little bit better quality. It is nice and lined. Hang on, let me put it on. Okay, so it's a cropped little jacket. Can you see it? A little cropped thing, but that is cute. Love it. Shiny satin, like what we did in the 80s when I used to go dancing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get that. That'll be cute over something you know, this fall. It's like 3 or 4 dollars This tickles me. This Vespa. Let's see, off the road, extra large women's camp shirt. Keep on moving, slim fit. I think it's a women's. I have to check the, which way the buttons do. But that just tickles me because of the Vespa. <laughs> That's fun. It's $3.99. Oh, there's a cute little retro seersucker kind of fabric. I have a habit of checking out the robes, too, in lingerie for vintage stuff. So this is mm, 90s Y2K. That definitely, so it's still new with tags. It's a larger size, 1X, 100% cotton. Oh my gosh, it's kind of precious too, look. Too bad I'm not totally in the mood. I've got a lot of inventory. I need to relax a little and get caught up. And since I've been not feeling well, moving slow, it's piling up, $6.99. Oh my gosh, I should get that though. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> Someone's going to be excited. That likes vintage. And in a larger size too. Awesome. So, besides that, I look for like any kind of silk kimonos. So, I don't really need to touch everything. I'm looking at fabrics as I'm rolling around, you guys. I like this color scheme here. Kind of Harley colors. So that's why I wanted to check that. Well, I have to put the Coke thing back. Um, and I'm going to put it here in the women's because it's definitely not a men's. But it's a small, so I thought, well, men's small I can do. But it's actually a women's small. And that, you can't even get your arm through there. And I'm slender, you guys. Like, you can barely get through there and you can't raise your arm. There's not enough room here. It's cute. Ooh, now that's nice. That would be good for resale. Yes, Adidas Tennis. With the good fabric. Wow. How much is that? $5.99. It didn't have any pulls and stuff on it, which this stuff holds up pretty well. 
you have to be pretty rough with it but I see someone was anyways Adidas tennis tennis golf things like that when it's just like a little bit above grade as far as quality of fabric <laughs> waiting for her to be done okay so this is vintage now Perry Ellis portfolio so it's probably a men's 94 so if you were doing the 80s and 90s it could probably stretch into the Y2K crowd if you wanted to if this was a little bit cleaner maybe even a little bit more pop of color that would be good for that kind of a sale $6.99 30% off actually <laughs> But yeah, it's way past time if you're reselling um, clothing and stuff. Maybe think about adding the 80s and 90s. I've been talking about it for over two years now. That if you see really cool stuff, go ahead and get it gear up a little bit. You know, something that's going to sell for a little bit more high end. Because it is time. And if you don't believe me, you can go over to Poshmark or whatnot and see what kind of sales are happening. I really should probably <laughs> think about going home. I'm just trying to get some exercise too, you guys. I know, I don't mean to whine, but I'm just being real honest because I know some of you are messaging me. You could tell by my voice on the last uh, sale that I'm a little off. And it's been that way for several weeks now. So, um, but I'm taking care of myself running up to Walmart, like I said going to get some insure drinks <laughs> I know it's come to that hasn't it oh my gosh almost age appropriate <laughs> it's ironic but only because I want to be sure I'm getting enough vitamins because nothing is really I'm not really able to eat a whole lot right now but so don't worry about me because you see here I am I'm still able to move around and I felt like I should probably get some exercise and they're not they weren't too busy it's kind of later in the day so but I think I better not push it okay so this video will be a little short I'm going to go check over here for Afghans and then probably check out all right you guys and go to Walmart and then go on home so you might not see too much of me over the weekend <laughs> all right you guys bye bye